Hi, my name is Sean Hayspearn Hargens, and I'm the program director for the Integral Noetic Sciences program at the California Institute for Human Science. I want to take a few minutes to just give you an overview of the program and be sure to check out my other video where I go into the details. So let me start with just saying a little bit about the unique name of the program, Integral Noetic Sciences. I'll just take each word um, in order. So first off, there's the word integral. And we use the word integral to refer to a kind of an interdisciplinary approach, um, taking perspectives from a lot of different schools of thought, including the following categories. So we approach the topic of, of consciousness studies and the mind and human growth and transformation from a first, second, and third person perspective, which is just a fancy way of saying we look at it from a subjective point of view, as well as an intersubjective and objective point of view. We also draw on the perspectives of ancient, modern, postmodern, and what's sometimes referred to as metamodern um, perspectives. And there's a wide range of theorists that have developed integral approaches that we work with, including Ken Wilber, Roy Bashkar, Hiroshi Motoyama, who's actually the founder of CIHS, Sri Aurobindo, Edgar Moran, and others. And we take an East and West and North and South approach, drawing on Asian and Western traditions, as well as the indigenous, shamanic, and African traditions. In terms of the word noetic, noetic's a great term because it encompasses a number of overlapping, but importantly different, you know, understandings and approaches to the mind or awareness. And so here's a list of a variety of terms that kind of fall within the noetic umbrella. Terms such as consciousness, the mind, transpersonal and esoteric, philosophy, spirituality, and the paranormal, even somatic aspects, and gnosis or nous, um, with nous being the original Greek word um, that noetic comes from. And then science plays a big role, right? And so we approach science from a number of important um, ways, including mixed methods, which includes qualitative and quantitative research methodologies, but we also include indigenous and esoteric methods. And we study the paranormal, psi phenomena, as well as exo studies. We also draw on yogic and subtle energy research. Um, we look at the science of well being, various forms of realism, and what can we say and how can we talk about what's real, and various social impact metrics, as well as brain science, such as the study of the neuroscience study of meditation. It's important to note that one of the things that makes this program stand out from similar kinds of programs out there is students have access to two different labs filled with scientific equipment so that they can actually study the mind and consciousness. So we have the Science of Consciousness Lab as well as the Subtle Energy Research Lab, both of which are housed on the campus um, in um, near San Diego in California. Now, I want to go into the aim of the program and what it you know, tries uh, to do in terms of providing advanced graduate level coursework for students. So there's you know, at least five distinct areas that I think are really important to highlight here. One, we support students to work at the, intersexual, the, the intellectual intersection of science, consciousness, embodiment, and what I like to call weirdness. <laughs> <laughs> All those things that just don't fit in reality as, as we often think of it. So we do this by drawing on the philosophy of science, conscious studies, subtle energy anatomy, the contemplative and esoteric traditions, as well as adult human development and different approaches to anomalous realities. Another area we focus on is supporting students to engage in advanced individual training in their own spiritual, esoteric, somatic, and contemplative practices, including subtle energy work. So in this way, the program serves as a community of practice for personal engagement with a wide range of traditions. The next area is we support students to really foster groundbreaking and edgy 
um, mixed methods research, right? So that they can explore contemplative, philosophical, and paranormal and exo studies topics in unique, grounded ways, expanding um, scientific methodology and helping develop new methods to investigate these types of phenomenon. Also, we're focusing on cultivating global consciousness through the grappling with the big questions, right? So this is you know, allowing you to engage humankind's perennial spiritual and existential questions, right? Such as, who are we? Why are we here? What's the nature of reality? Is consciousness primary? What is our place in the cosmos? Are we alone? And what happens after we die? Right, just those little questions that keep us up at night. <laughs> so we really like taking on the big ones. And then lastly, a main focus of the program is to support students in exploring and pioneering new models of reality, right? Through the use of noetic science that explore how consciousness, the nature of mind, extraordinary and spiritual experiences, subtle energy and biofields all reveal the multidimensional nature of reality, right? And if you want more specific details for either the master's or the doctoral program, you can look at online at um, our website where we list the program learning outcomes for, for both of those tracks. And lastly, I just want to mention a few things about the kinds of careers that students um, getting either a master's or a PhD with us go into. And as you can see from this slide, there's a variety of different opportunities. Right? So whether it's education, teaching, curriculum design, doing research and analysis in a variety of contexts, organizational leadership, either for for-profit or non-profit um, businesses and initiatives, um, doing social impact assessment, writing books and articles or web copy, um, leading workshops, um, coaching and consulting, um, you know, if you have the additional credentials to support that, um, wellness and holistic health, um, so a lot of times students use this degree to either enhance their career or sometimes do an entire career switch, right? As well as allow them to help pioneer creative and emerging careers. So thanks for listening to this quick overview. Be sure to check out the other video where I go into the details about the program and the program requirements.